So three and a half months ago, I put $6,000 into AutoCake as an experiment to see how much passive income I could generate using AutoCake. And after my first month of running this experiment, I made $1,889. Now, I was pretty stoked on those results, so for my second month, I decided to add in a bunch more money, bringing my total invested for the start of my second month to $29,090. And during that second month, I was able to make $3,146. Now, all of that was great, but it is important to note that when I first started this experiment, I was getting paid over 100% APY to stake in the auto cake pool. And since then, that amount has slowly declined to where today it pays out only 72% to stake in the auto cake pool. And don't get me wrong, 72% is amazing, especially considering traditional finance is paying out 6% to 10%. And there's definitely something to be said about the fact that I was able to get consistent gains over two months of staking on auto cake. But despite all that, I was still looking for an alternative, maybe opportunity to stake my cake and pull in a little bit more APY using a different strategy. And it was around this time that I was getting ready to roll into month three that I was approached by a guy named Matt. Matt approached me trying to get me to do a sponsored crypto video. And if you guys don't know, I get messages like this literally every single day. I'll usually get one to three messages a day from different people trying to get me to sponsor NFT launches or sponsor different exchanges or different swaps or just in general different crypto projects. Now I currently don't do any sponsor projects and I have personal reasons why I've chosen not to do that. For me it just doesn't feel like it fits my overall mission with this channel. I started this channel to genuinely help people because I was getting so many messages on Instagram. So I do a lot of videos just sharing my journey hoping that that will help people grow on their own journey. And I feel like promoting projects that I would realistically never use if I wasn't just getting paid to talk about it, or I would never talk about if I wasn't getting paid to talk about it, doesn't feel like the right thing to do. Now, that isn't to say I won't ever do a sponsored post. I'm sure at some point I will do some sort of sponsored project if it makes sense and if it feels right and if it's a good fit. So when Matt approached me and asked me to do a sponsored project, I told him no and that I don't do sponsored posts, but he did ask to learn more about the projects he was promoting. My thought process was basically, even though I wasn't interested in doing a sponsored project, these might still be good projects, especially if they're paying to do marketing and they're looking to expand and grow you know, the amount of users on their platform, that might be the perfect project to jump in on. Matt sent me a list of different projects that he was looking to promote, and after looking through them, I only found one that I was really interested in maybe trying out. So I asked Matt for more information on that project and he was able to connect me with the developer of that project. And really quick, just to pause and clarify because I'm about to talk about that experience, I fully rejected that sponsorship offer. This video is not sponsored at all. I'm not getting any sort of payment, reward, special treatment, perks, or any sort of weird loophole where I get some sort of benefit or have some sort of incentive to talk about this project other than I was interested in trying it for my own journey. The project's name was Donkey Finance, and it's actually kind of confusing because there's two Donkey Finance projects out there. This one had a hyphen in between the dawn and the key. And the reason it interested me is it's basically a platform where different yield farmers can create these recipes that are basically their best strategies that they're using to yield farm. They create all these automated processes on the back end and then are able to share these recipes with people who don't know how to set up those complex yield farming strategies. Which obviously sounds like a really interesting idea, being able to access really complex yield farming strategies just by clicking a button because somebody else is doing all the work on the back end. Sounds like a potentially good opportunity. The developer was a really nice guy who's based out of Israel and he walked me through the different things the platform was able to do. They were really proud of the platform and what they had built and he kind of explained to me his idea and his vision and all that. And the part that really caught my eye as he was doing this full walkthrough was that they had a cake farming strategy that at the time was paying out around 150% APY and could be boosted to 250% APY through staking their native token on the platform. Seeing that, I obviously wanted to try it out because if I could get a better yield staking cake on this platform than I could staking on auto cake on PancakeSwap, then that's definitely something that would be interesting to me. So I came up with this idea for month three where I would split my balance in half on auto cake and leave half of it in auto cake and put the other half to work using this farming strategy. Now it was also around this time that I decided to lower the amount I was staking on auto cake 
in general, just because I had some other projects I was wanting to jump into. So I lowered the amount I had on AutoCake down to $10,000. From there, I split that $10,000 in half, leaving $5,000 on AutoCake and putting the other $5,000 into this yield farming strategy on Donkey Finance. And going through the process of staking this on Donkey's website was absolutely a nightmare. I definitely encountered a ton of different bugs trying to stake this. My balance would disappear and then reappear and then disappear and reappear. And I would have to refresh my browser over and over and over again just to get my wallet to accurately connect or just to get the dashboard to accurately show up. And to be fair, they do say on their website that it's in beta and just to use at your own risk. So. I did understand that going into it. I at no point ever suspected or thought my money had actually disappeared. It was basically all different bugs involving the UI. But eventually I was able to get the cake staked on Donkey. And at the time I was doing this staking, they had two different strategies that you could choose from. Today they actually have three and they categorized their strategies basically based on risk. And some of them actually promised 400% APY on cake, which I thought was insane, but they're categorized as really high risk strategies. I actually went for the medium risk strategy since I was just trying out the platform. I had no idea how it would work. And I decided that that one made sense for me. I also was really interested in trying their whole boosting mechanism to try to boost my APY. So I went on PancakeSwap and actually bought some Dawn tokens and I staked them on the platform to boost my APY from 150% to 200%. And that was a month ago and I haven't touched either. I haven't adjusted either. I just let both of them run so I could get a really accurate comparison between the two platforms. And the results were definitely really interesting. My normal auto cake investment, which up to this point has always produced a profit, actually dropped in value. Where today my $5,000 is now only worth 4,937. But obviously my total amount of cake tokens did go up from 256 cake tokens to today I have 268 cake tokens. And the reason my investment went down but the amount of cake tokens I had went up is just because the price per cake token went down, which I've often talked about is the biggest risk factor investing on auto cake is just that the price of cake would go down. And even though the price of cake has gone down, I think when I started this experiment, each cake was worth like $19 and something cents. Today it's worth like $18 and like 40 cents or something like that. And even though the price has gone down and my investment has lost a little bit of money, it hasn't lost as much money as it would have had I not been staking in the auto cake pool because I was able to accumulate more cake that was able to stabilize that loss out a little bit. And now as far as the yield farming strategy on donkey, my $5,000 also went down in value to where today my $5,000 is now worth 4,968, which is about $30 higher than the amount I had in auto cake. And I had my total cake on donkey finance grow from 256 cake to today I have 270 cake. But that's actually not the full story because I also did the 50% APY boost staking Dawn tokens, which through that additional APY from staking Dawn tokens, I was able to make an additional $219, bringing my overall total on donkey to 5,000 so I actually was able to produce a profit on donkey finance even though the price of cake dropped over that month period. I was definitely a little bit bummed that for this month three experiment, the price of cake performed so poorly, but it does seem currently like the price of cake is leveled out and is starting to uptrend again. So I'm actually gonna keep this experiment going for a fourth month pitting donkey finance against auto cake and seeing which one is able to perform better. But I am going to adjust the total amount I'm staking on each platform, cutting each in half, leaving just $2,500 on auto cake and $2,500 on donkey finance. And then I'm going to let it roll for a month and see which one performs better over the next month. And the other 5,000 I'm taking out of that, I'm just going to put to work with some other projects I'm getting started with. And the one thing I like to remind myself when I have a month that's kind of like a dud month is that the crypto space rewards the patient. A lot of different projects I've gotten in and I've seen the price absolutely decline from when I got in, especially for everyone who's around for the 2018 crash where you saw a ton of different investments you made absolutely crumble. But a lot of those people who didn't sell during that time absolutely made an insane profit during this last bull run because they held on and because they were patient. Even though initially it looked like they'd lost 50% of their investment or 80% of their investment, they were able to come back from that and double or triple or quadruple or 10X their investment just by being patient. And obviously that's not always the case. There are definitely dud projects that just die off and never do anything. But when it comes to something like Cake, I see a ton of potential in the future for the platform. They're definitely making steady process, burning more and more Cake so they can eventually turn Cake into a deflationary asset 
set. On top of that, they've announced they have plans to add NFT-based gamification. They have plans to add utility to their Pancake Squad NFTs. They're looking at adding limit orders, multi-reward cert pools, margin trading, lending and borrowing, and fixed term staking. And the more and more things they keep adding that keeps adding utility to the platform is gonna attract more users. It's gonna allow them to burn more cake tokens, which is gonna allow the price of cake to go up. So for me, it makes sense to hold on to my cake tokens and just see where the platform goes from here. For anyone else who's wanting to try this experiment or get started, I did include a link to Donkey Finance in the description. I did that specifically because there's two different donkey finances and I didn't want you to get confused on which one is which. It is not an affiliate link. I do not get paid each time you press that link. They do have an affiliate program. The guy that took me through the walkthrough mentioned that I could jump in on that, but I actually chose to not do that specifically just so you guys knew that I had no incentive to promote the project in any way, shape or form. So it's not an affiliate link, it's just a link so you guys can find it easier. I'm gonna do a quick walkthrough on how to stake on the Donkey Finance website so you guys can kind of understand it. Keep in mind, again, I ran into a ton of bugs and had a ton of issues. So if you experience similar issues and you're like banging your head because the platform is not working, I had to go through that too, it sucked. And I don't know what to tell you because I couldn't figure out a way to fix that, it just seemed to happen randomly and I don't know why. So definitely use at your own risk and just be careful as you're getting set up. And lastly, just something to do with YouTube. YouTube has been deleting random comments on my channel. I think they do this because I'm a crypto related channel and there's so many scams in the crypto space. Uh, but I've noticed a lot of really normal, completely fine comments being deleted on my channel. I'll go to respond and the comments gone because it's been deleted and it's not in my needs to be reviewed section. I don't know why YouTube deletes those comments, uh, but it does. And it's really frustrating and kind of awkward because YouTube will sometimes delete comments where people are criticizing the project. And then people get really upset at me because they think I'm silencing any opposition or criticism to the project, which I don't do that. And if you don't believe that, just look through the comments and you can see hundreds and hundreds of different people who criticize the different projects I talk about or call into question different elements of different projects. And I don't mind it, I actually welcome it. I think it's a good thing that people are allowed to criticize what I'm doing and call it into question because it gives me an interesting and unique perspective. And in the end, it helps me understand and know the project better because I'm having to explain myself better. So if that's you and you get one of your comments deleted and it's a critical comment or maybe it's just a normal comment, I would just advise rewriting the comment but maybe changing or adjusting the wording. Uh, maybe looking at the words through the eyes of a YouTube algorithm and seeing if you see anything that looks like maybe the algorithm would think that was suspicious. All right, I'm gonna walk you through really quickly on how to get set up staking on Donkey if that's something you're interested in. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna search for Donkey Finance. And note the dash between Don and Key because there's another website just called Donkey Finance is a totally different thing and uh, they're, they're different. So you gotta have that little dash in between the Don and the Key. From there, you're gonna click the Launch App button and you're gonna connect your wallet. My wallet's already connected, but you'll click connect wallet here. Once you're connected, you're gonna make sure you switch your MetaMask to the Binance Smart Chain Network. And then once you do that, you should see all the different Binance Smart Chain uh, strategies you could utilize. Uh, if you're wanting to do cake, you're gonna click on the cake strategy right here. And from there, you're gonna get, be given three basic strategies. I chose the Donkey Lux strategy because it was a medium risk. Uh, there is the two higher risk ones, which I've never tried those, but maybe they're good. Whatever you think fits you best. Um, but again, I did the Donkey Lux. You click open to start it. And then when you click that, it's gonna look like this. And this is gonna be the screen that you're gonna see. And uh, you're gonna click the invest button. When you click that, it's gonna show you your cake balance and it's gonna ask you how much you wanna invest. I actually had to click it a few times to get it to work. It was not showing my cake balance at first. Uh, but once I like refreshed it or closed Chrome a few times, it, it seemed to work for me. Also note at the bottom, it says withdrawals are executed up to 24 hours upon request in order to uh, minimize swap fees, price impact and slippage within the different pools. So that just means if you wanna withdraw, it could take up to 24 hours. I have withdrawn, there was no issue with it, but it did take a little bit for it to actually come out. And then it's gonna you know, trigger your MetaMask and you have to go through that whole thing. And you'll notice when I did it, I waited for my cake holdings to show up and it never showed up. I had to refresh and it still didn't show up in there and when I clicked invest a second time, it said in order to use Donkey app, uh, you you need at least 100 Dawn tokens in your wallet, which I thought was weird because I, I definitely had Dawn tokens in my wallet, uh, but it was saying I, I didn't. But again, this was a lot of the bugs that I was encountering when I was trying to get going and it was really annoying. 
Uh, needless to say, I, I just had to refresh a few times and then it showed my balance was staked and I stopped getting that error. Uh, but even then, like, I obviously have Dawn on there, but when I go to boost my API, it says I need Dawn tokens again, but I already have them on there. It, it's again, a lot of little bugs that were kind of annoying. Eventually I did get the boost API to work after closing Chrome and reopening it. And then you have the different tiers you can stake to get a boosted APY. You can not do it at all or just do whatever you think is a good fit for you. I boosted mine plus 50% just to see what it would be like and to experience it. But you have to basically stake the tokens on the platform to get that boosted APY. And that's it. Then you can buy Dawn tokens. You will need at least 100 Dawn tokens in order to get started doing this. And as you can see, the price up in the right-hand corner is $19. When I'm recording this video, it's actually $18. This is just when I originally set it up. That's how much one cake was, and the price of cake has fallen since then. But despite that, again, you know, I was able to make a little bit of money, even if it's just a couple hundred bucks. And that's basically it. Once you have it invested, and if you decided to boost your APY, it should look like this. Uh, don't be surprised if you have issues with the platform. Don't be surprised if your balance doesn't show up or if things aren't working. Again, they say they're in beta down and below, but also I experienced a ton of issues trying to use this platform. To me, it was still worth it to get, you know, a little bit of a better uh, return on my cake. Uh, but know, know what you're getting into. If this video has been helpful, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I, I try to go through and respond to every comment I can. I get so many comments at this point that I can't actually respond to every comment. If you wanna see more content like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button and make sure you hit the little bell next to it if you wanna actually be notified each time I release a video. And if you don't hit that button, you won't ever be notified when I release new content. I'll just randomly appear whenever the algorithm decides that I'm a good fit for what you're currently watching. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.